How can you tell if an email is a scam? So you just got an email. We get so many every day. How can we be sure they're legitimate? Let's talk about how we identify malicious emails. The first thing that you need to know is that malicious actors often rely on urgency. No matter what the situation is, and even if the email is real, take your time, make sure that it's from a reliable source, and then take steps to remedy the situation. Then you can employ the SLAM method. You need to look at the sender, any links, uh, attachments, and the message itself. We'll go through it using real spam emails our employees have received so you can see how it works. Our first example is a common payroll scam. Let's look at how it's using urgency to get you to take action without thinking. In this email, the attacker is stating that this needs to be done for the next pay before it's processed. Depending on when you receive this email, the next pay period could be the next day. Remember, always take a breath and consider the rest of the email before acting. The SLAM method is going to help us out here. First of all, let's look at the sender. This email claims to be from David, and the display name is David. But if you take a look at the email address, it's from Bali and a Gmail address. Business should only happen over your company's email service. Make sure that the sender matches the person who sent you the email. This email doesn't have links or attachments, so let's move on to the last step, the message. This email is short and sweet, which makes it harder to spot. If this claims to be from someone that you know, does it sound like the way they write emails? Read it more than once. Does it sound right? Let's look at that last sentence a little closer. I will need the current account to be discontinued and get the new account placed for the next pay before it's processed. The word choice isn't quite right. I would choose a different word than discontinued and in place instead of placed. Always follow your company's established processes for modification of payroll details and for financial transactions. Even if the email itself doesn't raise alarm bells, this is important and sensitive information. You could IM Dave to double check, but his account could be compromised. The safest way to handle it is to follow existing processes. Next up, we have an email that looks like it's from us. It's a password expiration for today. That's our first indicator that this could be a scam. Have you received other emails before now with a, the same or similar messaging? I can't think of a single piece of software or website that would only ask you to change your password the day it expires. So take a breath and let's take a closer look. First of all, if we look at the sender, it may look like it was sent by simplexit.com portal. Why would it have a .com in there, by the way? But the actual email address is something completely different. You can change the display name to be anything, and that's why it's important to look at the actual email address. Next, let's take a look at the message. One thing that Microsoft and most other companies is sure to do is address you by name. You have a, an account and you have a name attached to that account, so they should be using that name. In this email, they're using user instead. If we look at the rest of the message, it certainly doesn't read like something from Microsoft, down to the wrong form of it's at the bottom. An email from Microsoft wouldn't skip an article at the beginning of the first sentence, the password or a password, instead of just password. Watch for grammar mistakes like these. It could save you a lot of trouble. This email also has some links for you to click on. Always be wary of links, even if you know the sender of the email. In this case, the link, keep same password, will take you to a page that looks an awful lot like Microsoft's sign-in. You put in your password to confirm it, and poof, the scammers have access to your account. If you have any doubt at all that an email is legitimate, don't click on links in it. As always, keep the SLAM method in mind and take your time to analyze the email. One piece of the SLAM method that we didn't have great examples of is the attachments. There are many ways that hackers can get to your computer using attachments and emails. Similar to links, you shouldn't download or open any attachment that you weren't expecting. If you get an attachment from an outside source, it could be dangerous to even download it from the email, so be extra careful. These are just examples of emails that come through every day. Simplex uses advanced email filters to keep most of the spam like this out of your inbox so you can focus on what's important. When you get an email from a strange source, don't forget to take a moment, take a breath, and slam it. If you have questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and check out our other videos answering commonly asked questions. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to be notified when we post new videos.